What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Wing Aviators and it's Super Hub bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja Channel. And first off, I want to say Merry Christmas to all of you guys. I didn't get a chance to say it in the other video, sadly, but you know, better late than never. Merry Christmas to all of you guys and I hope you have a wonderful new year. Ten times better than last new year. <laughs> Now, I've recently partnered up with Century Martial Arts, and they have given me an opportunity to review some of their weapons on this channel. And don't worry, it's not going to be biased. I'm allowed to say whatever I want, whatever my opinions are on the gear they sent me. But it does mean that you get a coupon code for anything you decide to buy from them. Just use the code NINJA10, all one word, all caps, and you get 10% off your whole purchase. But today, as you probably know, because you can read the title of videos before you click on them, but just in case you don't, we're going over the Century Series Wakasashi right here. And it's a sword that I actually really, really like. Now, I've only had a couple weeks to put it through the ringer, and don't you worry, we're going to have a testing uh, video coming out early next year, but I wanted to get out my opinions right now so that if you are considering getting it, you know exactly what you're getting. But, just like always, run that in. Shihan Abat's signature series Wakasashi uses a traditional Japanese short sword design. The length of the blade is around 30 inches long and the handle allows for a traditional double grip, leaving some space in between, allowing for optimal control when striking and using the weapon. For you metal enthusiasts out there, this blade is hand forged 1566 steel. The blade is heat treated, tempered, and quenched to achieve a balance between flexibility and hardness. The handle is wrapped fairly tightly in a traditional Japanese style using black cotton that gives a nice solid grip and has lasted very well to me using the sword and tossing the sword. And it's definitely not meant for, you know, tosses and, and tricks and stuff like that. It's definitely not meant for that if that's what you're looking for. But it does hold up surprisingly well because we all know I'm going to flip a sword regardless of whether it's meant for that or not. Again, don't do that. For someone that's not super well trained, it's not smart to trick with a real katana. But I've been doing sword tricks for the last 10 years, so I'm okay. Now this sword is quite heavy, making the tosses that I was saying you shouldn't do with this difficult unless you have a very strong wrist. So again, even if you wanted to trick with a sword, this is just not ideal. I can't stress that enough. However, this sword is designed to cut things without a doubt, but there is this one catch. The sword does not ship pre-sharpened. It's a little sharp, it's, you know, it's pointy and it's a little sharp, but it's not sharp enough to cut through anything with any sort of ease. And that's just because, you know, you can ship to more places and more people can have access to it if the blade is shipped dull. Dull is a relative term, I might add. It's not a dull play sword. It's not a toy sword. It's just a dull, sharp sword. So even though this sword is designed for cutting, you will have to sharpen it yourself to do any real slicing training and real slicing work if that's what you want, which is fine. You know, it's not that hard to sharpen a sword or sharpen a knife, but just know that's what you'll have to do. However, if you want to look at it in a different light, I think that that's a positive that it doesn't ship out sharp. It allows people of all skill levels to actually train with a sword without worrying about whether or not you'll accidentally chop your finger or chop your arm off. Now, do I suggest beginners, like beginner beginners use sword? Absolutely not. But beginners to weapons uh, can definitely get some use out of this as long as you are careful. Obviously, you're using swords, so be careful. Because if Star Wars has taught me anything, losing your hand kind of sucks. <laughs> Personally, I think this is the most well-built and sturdy sword I own. It will likely last me for years to come, if not decades. It'll honestly get taken care of properly, probably outlast me, and be handed down to whoever I decide to hand it down to in the future. Now, the scabbard fits the sword nicely and allows it to slide smoothly in and out, but it also has a really cool texture pattern that feels quite nice to the touch, in my opinion. And the scabbard comes with the wrap similar to the cloth wrap on top, but wrap slightly looser and slightly different on the body, just like most sheaths do uh, come pre-wrapped. But it is here, and I just wanted to make a mental note that if that's important to you and if that's a criteria you look for in a sword, you've got your, your same cloth pattern that makes up the grip 
down here. Now, if you are interested in getting this sleek sword for yourself, check out the links down below. Like I said before, and use the code NINJA10 to get 10% off your purchase of this sword or any other weapons or gear or, or whatever else you can think of that they have, bags, 10% off anything that you purchase down there if you use my discount code. Now, if you want to see more of my content in the future, drop a subscribe and kick that bell so that you'll never miss a single post that I do in the future. It's free, and if you really don't like my content later on, you can always unsubscribe. But until next time, my name is DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.